To understand gin production, we can break it down to a couple of different styles. It breaks down to be in either a London dry style where we steep the botanicals and boil them. Or a more infused style whereby the botanicals are suspended above the alcohol which get vaporised before turning back into a liquid. That's right. Now, most other spirits generally start from scratch by fermenting base ingredients, adding yeast and water and something that contains starch to create a beer before beginning the distillation process. Gin, however, usually starts with a base alcohol. This could be made from any number of substances, but predominantly it's wheat. Other popular choices are other cereal grains or grapes. Because of this process, gin is often described as vodka with flavour, which to us means a high-proof spirit is flavoured with plant extracts or botanicals in order to create a gin profile. Depending on the producer and the various methods of distillation used, traditionally gin is made in copper pot stills in batches, starting with a rectified spirit at 96% ABV. It's generally diluted back to approximately 50% before then being either layered with botanicals and steeped before cranking up the heat. Or the spirit is heated to create the vapors that take on the flavor of the suspended botanicals. The skill of the distiller and the stillman decide on the point when the cut should be made. This is where we separate the heads, heart and the tails of the spirit. Only the best cut, the heart, is taken forward to then become the gin that goes into the bottle. 